So the equation of displacement was y as a function of time that was a sin omega t. This is the amplitude or the maximum displacement right if you look at this particular diagram this particle shadow was here this particle shadow was here so the maximum displacement is the amplitude which is equal to the radius of the circle because now the shadow is going to come down and the displacement becomes zero now the shadow goes down and again the displacement from the mean position is maximum that is equal to the radius so this is the amplitude which is radius of the circular path in which the particle is moving of course we need to take phi in, into the consideration that is the initial phase omega is the angular velocity omega is 2 pi by t or sometimes it is written as 2 pi f right f is the frequency that is 1 by t okay y is the displacement which is from the mean position now if i differentiate this one time with respect to the time i will get d by dt of a sin omega t plus phi now you know this very well that a is constant it will come out a differentiation of sine function is cos omega t plus phi and then by applying the chain rule differentiation of omega t plus phi with respect to time is only omega so that means this is a omega cos omega t plus phi this is the velocity because velocity is one time differentiation of the displacement again you can very well see that these two are constant this is constant i mean this omega is constant phi is constant at a given time so that means this t so velocity is a function of time in some of the textbooks what they write is they write a omega under root of 1 minus sin square omega t plus phi now just sweep this a inside so this is omega under root of a square because a square a will come out so a pushed in in form of a square 1 minus square omega t plus phi now here this is omega open up the bracket under root of a square minus a square sin square omega t plus phi so which gives us omega under root of a square minus this is y square so if i square this i will get y square so velocity can also be written in form of the displacement or the time so let me call this equation as equation number one equation number two okay now what am i going to do is i am going to differentiate this with respect to time once again so i will get the acceleration right or differentiating this would be pretty more pretty more easier so velocity with respect to time is a omega cos t plus phi just differentiate this with respect to time and you will see that a omega cos differentiation is minus of sin omega t plus phi applying chain rule multiplied by omega and this is nothing but the acceleration which is minus a omega square sin omega t plus phi again these terms are constant so it's a function of time again and basically this is velocity along y acceleration along y because the entire motion is along y axis right so basically here this is acceleration function of time that is minus omega square a sine phi and this is y so in terms of displacement it can be written like this so this would be my equation number three and this would be my equation number four correct so these are the equations of displacement very important velocity velocity and acceleration if you remember only the sine and cosine functions that would also be fine for you right like this one now one more thing since this is acceleration minus a omega square sine omega t plus phi if i multiply mm on both the sides ym because m 
is the mass of that particle which is performing oscillation and what is ma it is the net force so minus m omega square a sin omega t plus phi again this can be written as y correct so this can be also written as minus m omega square y so you can very well see for shm the net force which is responsible for bringing the particle back to the mean position is proportional to y actually minus y right because these two are constants so f net is proportional to minus y the force if it is acting in this direction the displacement is in this direction that's why the negative sign so continuing this one if i remove this proportionality sign so f net is equal to minus k times y where this k itself is equal to m omega square correct so if i shift this k down it's a constant so k by m is equal to omega square so omega is equal to under root of k by m and this is nothing but 2 pi by t that is under root of k by m so t can be written as 2 pi under root of k by m right this is a very important expression for the time period in shm of course the frequency equation is just the reciprocal that is 1 upon 2 pi under root of m by k so this one is the frequency equation this one is the time period equation now what you need to understand is for any given situation of shm you need to just find out this value of k and simply substitute the value of k over here by the way this k would be the coefficient of displacement so leaving y whatever remains excluding minus sign is k now in different different situation if you find that particular coefficient substitute it over here you will get the time period 